Hi Jurassic Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Sven from Disney's Frozen. So let's get started. To draw this cute reindeer, let's first start by drawing his snout. So I'm going to come right here and draw a big curve. So I'm kind of building an oval, so I bring it down. A roundish oval, so... Uh, about right there, I'll start to bring it in. And connect. And then from there, let's come inside of this oval and kind of to the edge about right here. I'm going to draw kind of like a little teardrop shape for his nostrils. And I'll just come in here and shade it in. And same thing on the other side. It's about right there. And come in. And shade it in. There. And then let's come to the bottom and we're going to draw a big smile for Sven here. We got a very happy reindeer and cap it off there. Okay, so then now let's draw his eyes. I'm going to come to the center. So um, this is our center right here. I'm going to come off a little bit, say about right here. And I'm just going to start to draw a curve that comes down into his snout area. So this is kind of like the bridge right here. And then from there, I'm going to start to go round this off. And we're going to draw his eye area. Kind of drawing like this little ovalish shape that comes back in. And same thing over here. And come in. And then from there, let's come inside. Close to the edge about right here, we're going to draw a circle for his eye. And let's say about right here. I'm just going to draw in a little circle. And same thing here. So right on the edge, draw another circle. There. That looks quite creepy right now, right? <laughs> okay, it'll get better. So let's come in here and I'm going to make them draw so cute eyes. So I'm going to add two small circles inside for highlights, a curve line at the bottom, and shade in the top. And the lines at the bottom. Made my curve a little too low, but I'll fix that. So two curves, uh, two circles inside, and then a curve line at the bottom. Okay, this side is a little bit better. And lines at the bottom. Okay, so from there, let's come back up to the top right here, and we're going to thicken this part up. So if you're using a black marker or sharpie, just come in here. And thicken it up. There. Looks a little bit better, right? <laughs> okay, so then from there we're going to start to draw his face. I'm going to come to the edge about right, uh, say right here. Now I'm going to come to the other side. Oh, same thing on the other side. And I'm going to start to draw a curve that comes down. And I'm going to bring it close to here. So bring this curve in to there. So same thing on this side. Curve. And as you come about right here, bring it in. And round this off a little bit more. Okay, there. Now we have that part in. Let's um, skip a little bit. Imagine a little curve that's coming up here. So I'm going to skip a little bit line and then space, I mean, and then come up. And go up and come towards the center about right there. I'm going to zigzag some um, fur right on top of his head. And I'm going to bring it down. Okay, so then from there we're going to draw his ears. So the reason I'm skipping is because his ears are about right here. I'm going to come and say about right here. Pop out the slope, comes down, curve it around, and bring it in. And then using this point right here, we're just going to come in here with a curve, finish it off. So same thing over here. So we're just going to drag a point across, so approximate. So up 
And I'm just going to drag myself a point approximate. Uh, let's say about right here. Because I am drawing pretty big, these points help me to see a little bit better. And right there. Okay, and then curve in. So once again, from here, just curve and bring it in. Okay, so we have his ears in. Bring this down a little bit more. Okay, so then now to make him look like a reindeer, <laughs> let's come up and draw his um, antlers. So in this area, I'm gonna come up and I'm totally simplifying the antlers. So curve, and we're just gonna curve out. So one more here, then curve again, and another one, and come right back down. And as we come to about right there, we're gonna stop and pop out another curve and bring it in. And then right here, you can just add a little back antler piece right there. Okay, so same thing on this side. So say about right here. And I'm just gonna try to follow the other side. So about right here, tuck it in. And I'm just looking at that side now. So don't worry if it's not exactly the same. It's not going to be. So we're just trying to aim about the same. So about right there. And once again, come up. There. And let's bring this down. And we're gonna come down to about right there. So, curve, and say about right there, we're gonna stop again, pop out another curve, and bring it in. There, we did it. <laughs> and then, once again, right here, just pop out another one. Okay, so we have Sven's face in, now let's draw his body. Okay, so from there, let's draw the fur on top of his chest first. So I'm gonna come about right here. And I'm gonna draw a curve. And we're going to start to zigzag back and forth. So the other side will be, let's see, about right here. And I'm just gonna flick it out with a curve, bring it in. And back and forth, and I'm gonna to aim towards this I'm going to say about right here. So let's go back and forth. And nice and low. So say about right here. And bring it in. So kind of like center of his eye. So about right at this point. And then we're going to go up. And connect it. So let's go up and connect it back. And come in here with some zigzags for some detail. First fur. Okay, so we're pretty much done with that part. Now let's draw his body. So this area I'm going to continue. So come out with a curve. And we're going to slope it down for his back. And then come and curve it in. So then on this side, so just kind of imagine this little oval that you're building right here for his body. So about right here, I'm gonna bring out a curve. And then this is gonna come down. So once again, you're just creating this little oval right here. So about right here, I'll stop because I have to draw his front legs. So right here, I'm gonna bring down a curve. And I come up about right here and bring in the curve. So then I'm going to continue this curve. So continue this. And I'm going to go up. And before I finish that, say about right here, I'm going to add a curve for the back leg. And finish off my tummy area. And then bring this in. Okay, so then let's work on this front leg first. It's going to come in and then flare out. So same thing here, come in and then flare out. 
Then about right there, I'll stop and zigzag. And then add his hoofs right at the bottom. And split it and continue. So then let's draw this side. So we're going to bring this in, curve it in. And we're going to come about the same area on the other side. So come out about right there. And then on this back leg, we're going to curve it out, give it a little bump and then come in and then out. And then once again, zigzag and his hooves. There. Okay, so now let's work on this leg right here. So about right here. I'm going to pop out a curve. And I'm going to bring it in, curve it in. And about the same place right there, come out. And about right here. And a little bump, bring it in and come out. And once again, zigzag and the hoofs. Okay, so now the last leg. So, say about right here, bring in a curve, and once again, we're going to curve it in and out. So the back one would be coming out from here. Give it a little curve just like this back leg and then bring it in and out. So the reason it's out is because there's all this fur right here. So that's how all the legs are and zigzag and then the hoof. Okay, so then now for the tail. Uh, see in this area right here, I'm just gonna pop out his tail. A little curve, zigzag, and bring it in. And let's see here. Um, last but not least, let's come about right here. And I'm gonna add a heart. <laughs> And make him my uh, draw so cute Sven the reindeer from Disney's Frozen. So there, I hope I made this uh, easy for you to follow along and it inspires you to draw it too. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please make sure to uh, subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new draw so cute videos. See you later.